In the pandemonium of this moment, one man was at the epicentre of tens of thousands of adoring fans, and another had just got his hands on the souvenir of a lifetime. <laughs> Today, Buddy got his ball back. There you go, mate. Awesome. Beautiful, man. These are for you. And he had a chance to reflect on that moment. I absolutely loved it. It was a, it was a really special night um, to see so many Swan supporters out here, um, especially with what happened the last couple of years with, with COVID. And despite the fears of a crush, Franklin said he never felt unsafe. I was lapping it up, to be honest with you. <laughs> and when I kicked the 100 goals in 2008, at that stage I was very young and I thought if I ever got to the 1,000 goals, I'm really going to enjoy it. As for the man who caught the ball... Yes, I went head over biscuit straight onto the head and, um, you know, it hurt my head. But, um, you know, I had about 100 agents working for me on Saturday afternoon telling me what to do. Obviously it was a special moment, but for me, I think it's something that I'll look back on when I do finish my career and be even more proud of. This is the spot where Lance Franklin kicked his 1,000th goal. It means he's done just about everything there is to do in football except win a premiership with his beloved Swans. And who knows, this could be the year. As for retirement, at the age of 35, he says he's not even thinking about it. Asked today whether that means he could play on until he can't, he had one word in reply. Totally. And that will bring joy to most footy fans. David Mark, ABC News.